Hi YouTube, welcome back to my van channel. And um, if you're like me and you like to go to Major League Baseball games, maybe spend a whole weekend watching the games, that's Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday, but you don't like spending the high cost of money on a hotel room or the high cost of gas going back and forth from the stadium to your house over the whole weekend, I'm gonna show you how I save money on gas, save money on a hotel room by using that camper van to go to a whole weekend's worth of baseball games for the Oakland A's at the Coliseum. So go ahead and watch my video so I can show you how I save the money. Hello, my name is Doug. I'm a retired school teacher. I built a camper van out of an old Xfinity service van. I'm gonna show you how I did it and take you on my adventures, camping, fishing, and going to baseball games. And I'm gonna try to show you how to save some money Welcome to my van channel. Welcome to the Holiday 10. When I made this video, when I went to these baseball games, gas was well over $5 most places in the San Joaquin Valley where I live. And uh, right now it's gone down maybe a little bit, but for the most part, it's still well over $5 in the part of California where I live. And I have to travel 100 miles to the Hoakland Coliseum to watch a baseball game. So uh, that can add up to quite a bit of money that you're spending on gasoline when you go to these baseball games. Um, if you go to the baseball game and you want to stay over the weekend, now you're talking about spending money on a hotel room, which is an extra cost. If you want to watch the game on Friday night, and then you want to also watch some games on Saturday and maybe even Sunday. Well, now you're talking about a hotel room that's close to the Oakland Coliseum that's over $100. And even in some cases, the closest ones are over $200. Hey, today's Friday, June 3rd. I'm going to watch three Oakland A's games. I'm going to go watch... Friday night against the Boston Red Sox, that's tonight, and then tomorrow is Saturday, I'm going to watch the Boston Red Sox again, and then on Sunday, I'm going to watch the A's versus the Boston Red Sox again. I'm making this video again to uh, show you how to save money on a hotel room, um, and also save money on gas. Uh, I live out in San Joaquin Valley in California. I live about 100 miles away from the Oakland Coliseum. So I'm going to stay the night out there in my van, my camper van, and uh, I'll save money on a hotel room and I'll also save some money on gas. I won't have to come back and forth to go to each of the games because I'll have a camper van and I'll stay out there, stay the night there. And uh, when I get there, I'll show you where I'm going to be staying and it's going to be cool. Go A's! So I got to the game late today. Uh, there was traffic. There was an accident on the Altamont Pass. Um, I'm here late. Uh, I didn't show up and get here to the parking lot until the second inning of the ball game. And I'm getting ready to leave the van and go in right now and watch the game. So we lost the game to the Red Sox tonight. I don't know if you've ever had one of these hot dogs from one of these illegal hot dog vendors, but they are the bomb. I'm talking the parking lot hot dog. It is the bomb. So I'm headed out to my van. I'm gonna stay the night in a hotel parking lot tonight. Um, I'll show you where that is. Um, uh, there's my man right there. Everyone's leaving the Coliseum. There were fireworks tonight. We lost to the Boston Red Sox, but hopefully tomorrow it will be better. in the supermarket buying my breakfast claws. Um, 
I'm gonna try to stay in the parking lot to the supermarket. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're gonna give this supermarket parking lot in San Ramon a try. We're gonna, we're gonna give this a try, Let's see what happens. Um, if I get run out, I get run out. Okay, I'm in a 24 hour supermarket parking lot. And originally I said that I was gonna stay in a hotel parking lot, but uh, I'm gonna give this a try and see if it works. If they run me out later, they run me out. But for right now, everything seems good. So it's morning time. Let me get up and we'll go have some coffee and uh, then I'll head over to Oakland from San Ramon to watch the next game today. Okay, it's Saturday, June 4th. I got some coffee this morning and I uh, used the facilities and I'm gonna get ready to head back over to Oakland. Leaving San Ramon. <laughs> When I leave San Ramon in the mornings to go back to Oakland, I like to take this uh, road through the, the hill here. It's called Crow Canyon Road. Always make a left right here at this intersection and I head on up Crow Canyon Road back towards Oakland. It's Saturday, June 4th, and it's the A's against the Red Sox. It's my second game. I was here last night. I'm back today. Um, slept in the camper van last night. Not here, but in San Ramon. And hopefully we get a win today. Go A's. Well, it's Sunday, uh, June 5th, Sunday morning. I got my McDonald's breakfast, having my coffee this morning. Here's my view. I'm still in San Ramon. Um, stayed here last night at a hotel parking lot. Um, it was pretty peaceful, kind of rained last night. Um, didn't have any problems. One thing I was going to show to you guys is I brought this house fan this time I took the van out um, I have an inverter under my bed here with a 12 volt battery and inside the van I don't have a roof vent so it gets kind of warm in here sometimes and get some airflow and this is just a regular house van that runs off of 120 volts and uh, seems to cool the van down fairly well it works well. Anyway, I'm gonna be uh, cleaning up here in a little while after I have my coffee. And then I'll be headed to Oakland to watch the Boston Red Sox play the A's again for the third day in a row. Some of you guys may be wondering where I go to clean up or what I do to go change clothes or something like that when I go on these uh, little short camping trips for these baseball games that I go to well either I find a, a place to go where there's not very many people parked in a office parking lot usually on the weekends there's nobody in an office parking lot or I find a pull out side on the road somewhere um, for example today I'm in this pull out right here on Crow's Canyon Road it's kind of like a, a maintenance pull out on the side of the road 
and I'm just going to park it right here and um, I'll get cleaned up and get ready to go to the game. One of the things that I have that I, I use when I pull over in different places is I have these magnetic maintenance signs. Sometimes I'll put them on the side of my van because I'm only here for a short amount of time. That way it looks like something's on the up and up. One of the other things that I do to uh, kind of create the ruse when I park in places on the side of the road is on my dash, I've got an orange or yellow vest with a clipboard. So it pretty much looks like, you know, it's just a maintenance van on the side of the road. Nothing suspicious. So this is the back of my van, kind of messy, but this is kind of my bathroom. I've got a medicine cabinet in the back back here and I keep water down here in my water cabinet. I use the water to uh, clean up and I have all my toiletries right here in my medicine cabinet. My clothes are here. I've got a dirty laundry bag right here that I keep hung up. Right now, the back of my van is pretty messy, but this is where I clean up and I get ready to go to the game. Toothbrush and a jug of water. I'll brush my teeth and I'm all changed and cleaned up and I'll be on the road and ready to go. Okay, so one more thing I keep in my van. I keep these orange cones at all times. I didn't put them out today when I stopped to clean up, but if I have to, you know, just to make sure it looks kind of like a maintenance van, I have these orange cones. I could take it and I could put it out here on the side of my van if I had to, just to complete the ruse, you know, so that nobody worries about anything my bath time and i'm cleaning up and getting ready to go to the game anyway i'm all done i'm gonna pick up this cone and i'm headed to oakland well that was fun anyway i'm all cleaned up and i'm back in the van i just gotta carefully pull out anytime you're in a pull out on the side of the road you always want to be very very careful when you pull out because cars can be coming at a high rate of speed so i'm gonna take this nice and slow and i'm off on the road thrown by number 10 case Lucas. kind of a rainy day in the coliseum parking lot today everybody's outside getting wet but not me i'm kicking back in the camper van some tv Okay, day three of leaving the van in the parking lot. Day three of a three-game homestand with Boston. And I'm headed into the stadium right now. I had good seats for this game. I was sitting right in front of the bullpen. I got to see the relief pitchers warm up. And uh, we ended up, or the A's ended up losing this game too, 5-2. to two. A little bit disappointing, but uh, I saved quite a bit of money. And that was the whole goal of making the video to show you guys. You can save money by using a camper van. And um, anyhow, I had a lot of fun. And hopefully the A's next year will do a little bit better. Well, I won't be coming to another game for a while, not until uh, 
you lie. I'll come back and watch the Giants and the A's. But it was fun, even though we didn't win again. We didn't, couldn't win any of the three games against Boston. I guess what do you expect for a team that trades away all their good players every year? Anyway, I won't be coming back to another game until San Francisco comes in July or late August. Um, anyway, had fun. I had fun and I saved money. That's what this video was all about. Saved money. Saved money. Didn't spend money on a hotel room. And I saved money on gas. Well, we lost that one too. Um, we lost all three games against Boston. Uh, anyway, it was fun. I had fun on this little trip. Um, I showed you how to save money by not spending money on a hotel room. And I also showed you how to save some money by, by not spending all that money on gas coming back and forth all three days for all three games for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I'm headed home. I'm not going to... Uh, go to another A's game until probably early August when the Giants come back or come to Oakland and then after that in September I believe the Yankees are coming so I won't be coming back to another A's game but I will be going on some camping trips and I'm gonna make some videos about that I like to go camping in different places and go to the beach so I'll show you some some videos about that anyway um, if you like the video hit like also you can hit subscribe to my channel so until then thanks for watching my video bye